Please remember that markup languages, style sheet languages, and programming languages are all separate concepts. We need all three of them together for web development. We're not learning just one language, but several of them, and each one is going to serve a different purpose. Okay, let's get into the lesson. We learned that we can give structure to our data with markup languages. However, that doesn't tell us or the computer anything about how our data should appear on the screen. So we need style sheet languages to control the presentation and styling of our data. A few examples of style sheet languages are CSS, SAS, and LESS. CSS, which stands for Cascading Style Sheets, works alongside HTML to give styling to the data that we've just marked up with HTML. SAS and LESS are both style sheet languages that add extra functionality on top of CSS. We won't learn them in this course. However, you're welcome to explore them on your own after we cover the basics of CSS. So why should we style our data after marking it up with HTML? All web browsers provide some default styles for our HTML, but honestly, they look like hot garbage. We should style our markup because proper styling dramatically improves the user experience. In the English language, proper styling includes the larger text size of titles, indentations at the beginning of paragraphs, and good spacing between paragraphs, all of which improve readability. With style sheet languages, proper styling works in the same way, proving the readability and usability of our data for our users. We don't want a trashy 1990s looking website with text so small that it's hard to read. Make it a little bigger with some spacing between different sections of text and our users will be much happier and they'll keep returning to our web page. Where are style sheets used? Well, you probably could have guessed that they'd be used in web browsers because this is a web development course. However, they can also be used in desktop and mobile applications. Here's the thing. Modern web browsers only understand one style sheet language, CSS. So if you ever decide to use a different one, like SAS or LESS, they come with programs to convert them into CSS. That step is required before those languages will work in the browser. So how are we going to use these style sheet languages, particularly CSS? Well, unfortunately, right now, we don't know enough about HTML to fully understand how CSS works. So the only thing that you need to take away from this section is that we can write our CSS directly in our file of HTML markup, which is what's happening in examples one and two, or we can separate it out into its own CSS file which is what's happening in example three. It's also possible to use JavaScript to add CSS styles to our HTML, but we'll cover that in a later unit. In this unit, we'll cover CSS styling in detail after we've done the HTML lessons. The last thing we need to take away from this lesson is that CSS looks clearly different from HTML markup. We wanna keep these two separate in our minds. CSS and HTML look different, they work differently, and they have different purposes and rules. They're two completely different languages. 